Well, hi guys, it's Carly here. Um, I'm really excited because my visa got approved yesterday. So I'm just gonna go through today on what actually happened yesterday. So um, yesterday I went into Sydney CBD. To be more specific for those who are from Sydney, it's in the MLC building. I think it's on King Street from memory. Um, now that's a really complicated building. Okay, so if you park downstairs, I advise you do not park downstairs. Um, just because I thought it was going to be a quick process, but I'll talk about that later. But it ended up costing me seventy-eight dollars in the, um, the car park. So if you come by public transport or even get a taxi, it might be even cheaper. Um, so anyway, if you come up to the main lobby, that's level four, no, sorry, level eight, I believe. Um, then you go to the left hand side of the reception, um, yeah, the re little reception desk they have there. Go to the left. There's elevators there that'll say levels, um, I think it was 8 to 24. Um, even though it says on your visa to go to level 59, you have to go to level 10 first to check in. And when you get there, they'll tell you, uh, ask you when your appointment is. Um, while, you're, while they're asking you for your what appointment time you made, you have to have all your electronics out of your bags, um, turn your phones and electronics off. Um, you also need to um, show your passport as well. And then um, if you're wearing uh, girls, you have to take off your shoes. Guys, I didn't see anyone who took their shoes off, so you're okay. And then they go through like a conveyor belt like you would at the airport, and they just scan and x-ray yourself. Then you go through one of the big arches where it does the full body scan to see if you've got any bombs or anything on you. Um, so you walk through there and then there's another little reception desk where you have to keep everything, and I mean everything, behind this desk. I wasn't allowed to take my bag, my mobile, I, wasn't, I was only allowed my paperwork. So once you go there, you go then to another line in the same office and they go through most of your paperwork there just to make sure you got it all in order. They're really nice and they get it all in order so when you go upstairs that's it. You just need to take those stuff. Um, then you have, they'll tell you to sit down and wait for the guard to tell you to go up to the 59th floor. There is a designated elevator with a guard at either end of the lift that will tell you to get in and out. Surprisingly there wasn't any in the actual lift but yeah. Um, so, yeah, that, that was the bottom part. When you get up to the top part, there is now a lady behind safety bulletproof glass who will check your name off again to make sure you are you, and she'll let you in through, um, it looked like an iron cast door, and she presses the button and she lets you go through. Um, then once you're in there... It kind of looks like the RTA for people in Australia or, or somewhere where you go, like Medicare, I think. I, I'm, I'm not sure what anyone else would have, but it, it, you, walk, you walk in and then you got a whole wall in front of you full of people behind windows that can like help you. So you have to go take a ticket, you have to press the middle button that says non-immigrant US visa. Um, applications press that it'll print you out a ticket mine was 374 and then once you do that you actually have to go to the left line up um, someone will just um, check all your work um, paperwork sorry and take your um, passport off you and then you have to go take a seat while you wait for someone to interview you now the, the part previous to waiting for the interview, that only took, I would say, about 10 minutes to line up and actually being served. Um, and then once you have, I was sitting down, it took me two and a half hours. Okay, talk about a long process. Yes, there was no bathrooms on that floor. If you wanted to go to the bathroom, you had to go down go through all the security things, then go down to the lobby of the main building 
and go to the bathroom there. Then you have to come back up to level 10, go through all the body scans again, then um, get your IDs checked, and then go back up again. Um, when I got there, there was about 50 people in front of me, and what made it worse, there was only one person serving all of us who were getting our visas done. I think that's just absolutely crazy, and they should know how many people are coming because we've all got um, like appointment times. So my appointment was for 10.15. I actually didn't get served until 12.30, and you wouldn't believe how long the actual interview process took. So what she actually asked me was, hi, what's your name and what are you doing? So I said, I'm Carly. I'm going to be doing the Disney College program in Disney World. She could she could kind of see my folder when I had put it down. So I recommend taking this. Um, so yeah, I said I was doing the Disney College program. And then because I had previously been to the U.S. three times, she says, um, what were you doing in the U.S. prior? Oh, what were you doing in the U.S. before? And that was when I went to Disneyland for my birthday. And she just asked how long I was there for and what it was for. So I said, um, obviously, I was there for a week and a bit, just there on a holiday for my birthday. And then she said, what will I be doing at Disney? And she uh, um, said that, um, oh, sorry, I said that I'm doing merchandise and ride attendant. So, um, and then after that, she said, okay, you've been approved. And I'm like, really? It only took about, oh, I would say, less than a minute to actually get the visa interview. And then um, once you go to, well, at this day, it was only one operator room. So it was um, window seven, and then you walked around, and then it was window eight, and that's where you actually pay. And because I actually didn't have money, I brought my mum with me. So she paid for it on her credit card. Now, pr previously, you had to um, purchase the application free from the post office, which was $140. You couldn't pay that with a credit card. It could only have been with cash and F post. Um, so yeah, it, it was a very long process, but I'm so happy that I got accepted. Um, now it's like officially official that I'm going to be going. So yay. Um, I'll just quickly talk about what you need for the uh, interview. So as I said, I'd suggest taking all that paperwork that Disney gave you, but you also need um, your I-9 something something the one where you do the service online if you haven't received it in the mail you can take your receipt um, you need all your um, documents that you did online when making the visa application for the US Embassy I think it's the DS2019 as well um, you also need to take an express envelope you need your passport and um, you're meant to take a bank statement so they can show you how to, how you can support yourself. I didn't. I, I I did take it, but they didn't ask me. As soon as I said I was doing the Disney College program, she basically accepted me. But I know that not other people in front of me who who weren't doing it. She did ask them what like how would you. Uh, financially support yourself and they were just saying my parents will help me and they got accepted still anyway so I think as long as you're not a criminal or you came here from another place I think you should be fine um well that's really it guys so if you want me to go I, I don't know how I can go into a little bit more elaborate uh, elaborate more on this because I think I've gone through it pretty well um but yeah if there's anything else guys you want to know um please don't hesitate to comment um so hopefully my next video should be my packing one or if i receive information before then i can do another one um but i think i'm up to 47 days until they go away um, so, yeah, that's it. 
I'll speak, see you later guys bye so one more thing to add guys don't forget to take to your visa interview your receipt that you've got from the US post office so they can see that you've actually paid for the application fee okay bye